What's up, guys? Danny Lina back in Phantom. Just got a big, giant butt. I, I mean, buff. Every time he goes into the ability, he now has 45% damage resistance. So he's taking 45% less damage, which is amazing. This little dude is a mean machine right now. We're going to throw some splinters, shatters on him, a big drone, the Olga pilot, and these modules right here. Nuke amp, repair amp, immune amp, and the unstable conduit to make this dude a little monster. If you put the Olga pilot on there, you're going to get a 25% longer ability, which is amazing. We got engine expert for speed. We got roadhog for speed. We got adamant roadhog for more speed. We have stubborn warrior, invulnerable radar, armor expert, and adamant guardian. All right, so we are going to take this guy into a couple of beacon games, a couple of free for alls. I'll show you some of my favorite footage. We're going to keep it real. I'm not going to record. 50 games just to get that one really good piece of footage. We're going to show you the type of games he has on average. That way it's realistic, right? So let's go do some gameplay. We'll do a little review afterwards and all kinds of good stuff. So let's go do it to it. Yeah. So I haven't played this little dude in a long time. Last time I played him, he wasn't doing too well, but they just buffed the heck out of him. He's got way better stats, way more defense points in the, in the ability. So I think this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see what this little dude can do. I mean, this little dude should just be amazing. All right, so let's go over this way. And yeah, let's take this dude out. Da, 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 die, Mr. Red Guys. Ah, crap. There's an Uchi Kuchi and there's a Nether in here. So Nether would probably be the easiest one to take. What? What? I don't know what just happened, but I killed something and I got the heck out of there. We weren't able to get the beacon, but my teammates are on it, right? So I got back to safety, I healed up, now I'm ready to come back in. So here comes that ability, we got the defense points, we got all the good stuff going right now. So let's get back in there and make sure we don't lose this beacon to these red dudes. Alright, um, there's too many of them, there's like three or four of them. There's no way, there's no possible way I could take that from three or four guys, so I backed off. Now, normally, you know, if there's like one or two dudes over there, I'll die on that beacon to save it. But in that situation, I don't think, I don't think nothing I could have done would have saved it. So I would have died anyway. So normally I do not like to leave the beacons, but sometimes you just have to. All right. So let's go get the beacon back. And I'm going to tell you what, this is one of the most fun robots I've played in a long time. This little guy is just unbel- Oh no! Whew. I thought I was going to go off the thingy dingy there, so that would have been bad. I mean, that's crazy, man. You go back and all of a sudden somebody's hitting you with that uchi coochie ability. Alright, so let's grab this beacon back. So far, my team's not doing the greatest for holding our beacons, but we are trying. So, let's go back into the center. There's only, what, one guy there right now, I think. So, let's get that one. Let's focus on this other guy. I think that's what a Kepfri. I think I should be able to take him out. Uh, we got the targeting system. That guy's in front of us, though, so that's okay. You know what? I wonder if... Ooh. All right, so there's the scores. We got some really good scores on that game. I will take it. I will take it. So 8.8 .8 million damage, 10 kills, 6 beacons. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's go play another game and do it to it. All right, so let's go right to center. Center beacon is the most important beacon on this map, so we want to go after that. We want to make sure we get center and nobody else steals that center beacon. So let's head on in there. Somebody's shooting me with a Mars turret, I think that is. So we're going to activate the ability, get all those defense points. That's going to keep us alive. And that Mr. Mars, yeah, somebody stole the kill, but hey, it is dead. I like it. So one cool thing they're about to start doing on this game is giving us assists. That way if you damage something and it dies, you know, when somebody else gets the kill, you're going to get assist points, which will give you honor points. So you're going to get some sort of credit for that kill now, which is really cool. That way, like, let's just say you do all the work and somebody comes by and gets that last shot and takes it from you. And you're just like, man, what kind of a jerk did that so now you'll get some assist points which will give you more honor so that's really cool that'll help you out on the uh the placement and stuff i mean you ever seen somebody who comes in like last place you got like 15 million damage and one kill and the guy in first place has 1.2 million damage and 12 kills because he stole them all yeah that's there to help that out so anyways that's something new coming out 
But this little dude is doing extremely well. I'm having a lot of fun with this little guy. So let's move on over this way. Ba -ba 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 Bam, Mr. Uchi Coochie dead. Like right there, I think I just stole somebody's kill. <laughs> and that person currently did not get the assist point. But, you know, they, they could have. They will eventually when they add that in. Also, cross-platform gameplay is coming. So that's really cool. And, yeah cross-platform gameplay guys that's gonna be amazing that means if you're on Steam you can now invite Android players now I don't know if they're gonna be, be able to be in your clan but you're at least gonna be able to squad with them I guess yes double kill die mr. red dude so let's go steal that beacon back there we got the super speed from this little ability that speed is redonkulous but I like it I like it a lot I'll take it so let's grow let's oh there's a whole bunch of them over here I probably shouldn't uh, I probably shouldn't be over here but I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go uh, this is probably a very bad idea but we're gonna get it okay back off back off no 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 we're gonna get stupid we are gonna get stupid I don't know why I'm doing this but yeah it was stupid all right I died <laughs> All right, there we go. That's not a bad score either. We had like 5.3 million damage, 5 kills, 4 beacons. You know, not too bad, not too shabby. So far, this little guy is doing really well. I'm really having a lot of fun with it, and I'm enjoying it. It's great for beacon games, but let's go see how it does in the free-for-all. I can already tell you it's not the best free-for-all bot, but it's still fun. Mr. Mender dropping into the canyon. So let's head over this way. I'm going to tell you what, this is one of the most fun robots I have played in a really long time. I am having such a good time with this little guy. You can't beat it, right? You just can't beat it. So the buff is really making this guy good. So I don't think this is going to go very well. There's Ochi Kochis everywhere. This one's chasing me down. Yeah, we're going to tell. Oh, crap. We teleport it right next to another one. That's not really what I wanted. The goal is to stay away from those things. Okay, don't shoot it. Don't shoot it in the ability. Ah, uh, this is bad. Okay, good. It's going the other way. Nice. So I'm going to hit my ability. Now we're going to go after it and try and take it out. I'm glad he decided to chase somebody else down, but he's too fast. He's going to get away. So I'm going to rethink my position. Let's find something that's actually uh, another Uchi Kuchi. It's really hard to kill some of these guys when everything's in that darn ability all the time. So yeah, it's just, uh, there's Uchi Coochies or Ochi Coochies. Everybody keeps calling it Uchi Coochie, guys. I don't know. I keep calling it that because everybody else does, and that's a bad habit. But let's go in this way. It's really hard to do good in the free-for-all when there's nothing but these things everywhere. And I mean, they are currently everywhere. Like, everywhere you look, there's 20 of these things. So Little Mender is probably not going to do super well on this battle, but you know what? It, it's fun so far. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So free-for-all may not be the best mode for this little guy, but you can still have a really good time for it. Like right now, this Uchi Kuchi is dominating the battlefield. Like you can't really do much about it. Right now, I'm going to try and steal this kill from somebody. Come on, get it, 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 get it. Nah, he's healing up. And of course, he goes into stealth. And another one. Oh, come on, man. That was mine. That's the one problem with free-for-all, guys. Is everybody steals up all your kills. I think someone just stole that one. Holy crap, holy. I mean, I tried to steal somebody's kill. And then, oh, oh, nope, dead. Let's drop another one in. And right now, we're going to try and deal with this Titan. I'm going to tell you what. I really like these weapons on the Mender. They're very good. They hit very hard. They're hard to hit, though. It, they if you if your aim is a little off or you got a little bit of lag it's really easy to miss oh look i'm still in the air <laughs> i'm on the ground running sort of but i'm still kind of like i'm still under that ability that was kind of funny like when i landed i was on the ground but sl hovering like two centimeters off the ground all right let's try and get rid of this guy i'm not really doing much damage to him which is surprising because normally those titans are really really squishy and easy to take out that one must have some uh, charged up repair amplifiers because he does not he does not want to go down all right let's move over this way i really love the uh the teleport ability that just makes this robot super super fun i mean it's crazy fun to get to play this guy 
Come on, come on, mine, mine, mine. One more, one more. Yes, we finally got one. I'm in third place with only two kills. So somebody's stealing all the kills over here. One of these OG coaches is beating... At oh, what? where did you come from, sir? Hold on. We got to get this guy. We got to get this guy. Um, hmm. Up, oh, died. I guess we can bring him back in, right? We got one more time. We got two minutes left. Let's run over this way. And if you notice, I look to the left and to the right there just to make sure nobody's around me because you don't want to just run forward and then somebody comes up behind you and starts blowing you up. So yeah, I'm going to say free for all is probably not this thing's best. You know, it's probably not the very best game mode for this. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Vern? It's fun, but it's not doing well. I did play uh, two other free-for-all games, and the results are about the same. So all the Beacon games I'm playing so far, it's done really, really good. Now, when it comes to free-for-all, it's doing okay. But the problem is the OG Kochis. If it wasn't for the OG Kochis, I think it would be able to do great. I mean, we're doing pretty good against that Kefri, right? With normal bots, you can take them down, but Titans and Uchi Kochis, nope. Good luck trying to get rid of those things, right? You're just a little mender. You, you got low firepower. I mean, it's really a beacon robot. It's really designed to get in there, grab some beacons, and then teleport out. Or, you know, if you try to get the beacon and then you get in trouble, you can teleport out. It's not really made for this type of battling here. All right, 15.4 million damage, six kills. I came in third place. The guy on top had 20 million damage and 11 kills. Like I said, somebody was stealing all the kills there, but yeah. That was fun. That was definitely a lot of fun. Guys, Mender is extremely fun. If you build it right, you play it right, this little dude is going to wreck people. It's going to be crazy good, I think. In my opinion, it's now worth playing again. Those extra defense points make it a lot harder to kill. It's squishy outside of the ability, so you do not want to take a hit when you're outside of the ability. If you don't have the weapons I was playing in this video, throw some maces on there. Throw some cudgels on there. Those little shotguns are going to be great. Pretty much any weapon that does nice damage up close is going to be a really good choice for this guy he's really designed for beacon games so you can get in there go to the beacon if you get in trouble teleport out and leave i think you should probably build one i think you can get this guy in the workshop so hey why not anyways i think that's going to wrap this up i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching extra big huge shout out to my channel members you guys really help the channel a lot i appreciate everybody's support but if you would like to become a channel member just click on the little join button right down there below the video that helps me out and my channel big time. If you drop down in the video's description, you'll find my other YouTube channels, some ways to help support this channel, uh, my Discord server, and a bunch of other junk. So maybe check that out. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. See ya.